Having a multimeter around the house can be a really handy thing. The other day I went to use this device here and it's press the button, nothing happens. I figured it'd be the battery, so I just took the battery out. Put another one in there. And look at that, fixed. Nice and easy. But just to be sure, I thought I'll check this. So when I look at the uh, battery, it says 3 volts. You can see here it also says this is the positive and this is the minus. So with the meter, I go to the DC settings, 20 volts, because I want to read 20 volts or less. Grab the probes, the red one goes onto the positive and the black one onto the negative and just under 0.9 volts. So it's a 3 volt battery, it's buggered. Now if I put the probes on backwards, say I put the red onto the minus and the black onto the positive, it reads about minus 0.9 volts. So it's no big deal if you measure it backwards, you get a minus. And then my modem stopped working. So I had no internet. When I looked at the modem, all the lights had gone out. Now I could just go down to the shop and buy a new one, spend a hundred odd dollars, or I could check the plug pack. So this is the plug pack, this uh, Netgear ADSL modem plug pack. So what I'm going to do is plug it in and I'll grab the, the end of the cable and I'll put the red down the middle, still on that 20 volt setting and the black on the side and I'll get nothing. So I would say the uh, Plug packs bugged. So what I did, I looked around the house and I was able to find one in my girlfriend's drawer to use for some sort of device. So I'll just steal that, plug it in, red into the middle, and look at that. I've got. A bit high, 15 and a half volts, but that should work. It says 12 volts on the pack itself. Let's see. Oh, beauty. Now, when the modem stopped working, the stereo stopped working as well. Buy a new stereo, it probably cost me a thousand bucks, but I pulled the fuse out. So I thought I'll just check the fuse. So I need to move this over to my resistance measurements. And what happens here is that it says one, and if I uh, close, uh, short circuit it, it'll say zero. So the idea being that if the fuse is blown, it'll say one. If it's working, it'll say zero. So I'll put this on the fuse. And it says one. So the fuse is blown. So I'll go and spend 10 cents on the new fuse, put in the stereo and make it work again.